last time on Total Drama Island. An escaped psycho killer terrorized our campers with his meat-mangling hook and mega-murderous chainsaw. There was a large amount of screaming, especially considering the whole thing was really just an elaborate punk. Ooh, 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 I love this part. Duncan was the only one to psych out the psycho, but ultimate victory went to Gwen, who somehow ended up in the kitchen with an actual psycho, which left DJ the chicken heart to float the loser boat home. Only seven campers remain. Who will win? Who will lose? Ow! Who will need a rabies shot thanks to this ungrateful little... Find out on this episode of Total Drama Island! Your mom and dad, I'm doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. Wild flowers for a wild and crazy gal? Oh, yeah? As in the kind you abandon and leave for dead in the hands of a chainsaw-wielding psycho killer with a hook? Me? Abandon you? Never, never, ever. Wasn't there just a 300-pound bag of joy talking to you? I'm only 296. Someone set a trap. Or two. Good morning, campers! Or should I say, trappers? Ready for today's challenge? Excellent. <gasps> then let's chat about it over Chow, shall we? He's coming back to untrap us, right? <laughs> Good aim. Ah. <laughs> uh. Haste? Campers, there are only seven of you left on Total Drama Island. After tonight's dramatic bonfire ceremony, only six of you will remain. We're nearing the end, people, so look alive! What are my chances of winning? I'd say they're pretty darn great because anyone who doesn't vote for me is a dead man. Are you listening out there, all of you who've been kicked off? If you don't vote for me, I'll find you. I am so stoked! The final seven, and I'm going all the way, dudes! Woohoo! I think I got a good shot at winning. Heck, I won student council president two years running, and I didn't even give a speech! I can do this, man! Woohoo! Today's challenge involves making like our province's great rangers and game wardens. You'll each have eight hours to trap an animal. Got one. A wild animal which you must bring back to the campfire, unharmed. Rangers and game wardens often have to relocate animals for their own good and the good of campers. Ow, get off! For my good, I might have to barbecue my animal. I'm starving to death. Funny you should mention that, Gwen. Reward for winning today's challenge is a meal of all of your favorite foods. I am so winning. So you're not gonna eat that? I can't believe I'm in the final seven. Can you imagine me winning? Oh, that would be awesome. Woohoo! Everyone else here totally deserves it more than I do, though. Except Heather. She's really mean. I'm not afraid of her, though. Oh! Just about done.
everyone, choose an animal assignment. Chipmunk. Frog. Raccoon. Duck. Beaver. Deer, yes, bag of a doe. Bear? Are you kidding me? It's the only animal left. These degenerates get cute little froggy and wee baby ducky and I'm supposed to trap a bear with my bare hands? You do get 60 seconds in the boathouse to gather any equipment that might help. Unless there's an animal trainer and a zebra carcass in there, I don't think it'll be adequate. This is ridiculous. I don't think I've mentioned the penalty yet. I don't care. I'll take it. Loser cleans the communal washrooms. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> I think I ate too much of that delicious paste. All right, campers, you have just one minute in the boathouse to grab your critter catching gear. You're gonna trap a raccoon with a sledgehammer? You may want to rethink that. Ah, thanks for the tip. Ah! Ow! I got paper towels! Yeah! Woo! A burlap sack? You should patent that. Ten seconds remaining. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon, coming through. Is that legal? Can she just... Oh. Duck bait. Yeah, that'll work. Ah! I think there's still fish in here. The net's all yours. And P.S. It'll never hold a bear. I don't know. I guess I have a chance. Let's put it this way. If I didn't think I could win, do you really think I would be in this dump? Putting up with the revolting food Giant bugs and cameras in your face all day is one thing. But Heather? Only $100,000 could make me live with her. I assume I'm the favorite to win. I mean, look who's left. Weird goth girl, a criminal, a fart machine, a party dude, a psycho hose beast, and Lashana. And the only thing she has going for her is that she hasn't made any enemies. whoop do! We're not here to make friends. We are here to win. And that is exactly what I plan on doing. Okay, bobber thingies, old sandwich, lipstick, big nasty hook, score, tranquilizer gun! Guys, look! Could you please aim the other way? Everybody ready? Yes! yes. No! Game on! See, now Heather, she was my competition, and as much as it made me want to hurl, I knew I had to get on her good side. You can borrow my chainsaw after I'm done. Great! The bear can use it to skin me alive after he's finished mauling me. Thanks! Well, I did pick something up that might help you. Why would you want to help me? Because if you team up with me, I'll take you to the final two. Not interested. Suit yourself. I usually do. She'll be back. Just wait. Let's get this over with. Come and get it. Uh, last time I checked, ducks waddled. <laughs> this is going to be way too easy. I think I got as good a shot of winning as anyone else, and I'm not gonna let anything stand in my way, y'all. I've just gotta keep winning invincibility so that cow Heather can't vote me off. Manipulative pain in my butt's been trying to get rid of me for weeks. <laughs> yeah, Froggy gonna pay. Uh, 
look, I'm no bear whisperer, but I've got some garbage here. So just come and get it. Hello? I don't have all the... Hey, buddy. Hey, little pal. Come on, let's go for a walk. So that's how it's gonna be. I didn't want it to come to this, but... That's more than meets the eye. up as a bear and like scared everyone and I was like Rawr! and they were like ah save me well if someone else dressed up as a bear and it wasn't me I totally wouldn't have been scared I would have known which makes me smarter than they are oh did I mention I have an IQ of 188 because I do <laughs> is at one with the wild. He is part of it. Making eye contact with his fellow creatures creates peace, creates brotherhood. We are one, little fellow, yes. We are one. And you're the only thing standing between me and victory. Still, I love you. Am I supposed to catch a bear? Open the cage! Open the cage! <laughs> yes! I win the dinner. Yes! Bring me duck soup, Peking duck, duck a l'orange, chocolate mousse. No, chocolate duck. I win! Open the cage! Ah! <laughs> What do you think of that? Gwen won already? <laughs> hey, Hostman, bring on the chow. Don't forget, last camper to catch their critter cleans the washroom. Well, I've got nothing better to do. I could help you bag a bear. Here. He's evil, manipulative, sketchy, and completely unpredictable. I like the way he thinks. And since I'm seriously in the market for a new alliance, bring on Mr. Delinquent. Oh, beavers? Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Whoops. Yeah, genius runs in my family and 
psychotherapy. Uh huh. Once at my family barbecue, my uncle cut off his ear with a steak knife to emulate Van Gogh because he's like all artistic, but he chickened out and only cut half of it off, and it was like hanging there. It was so gross. I swear, I think some of it ended up in my salad. <laughs> Come on, Froggy, it's Gouda. Oh no, you are not tricking me, Froggy. I'm not coming over there. You want this cheese? You are coming over here. Okay, one more step, but that's it. Ugh, ugh. Froggy be playing with the wrong Sister. <laughs> the naturalist would like the chipmunk to listen to reason. The naturalist would like to point out that we're all one in the eyes of Mother Nature. One love, Chippy. <clears throat> ah, work with me. You're killing me here. Here. No, no, see, the thing that's supposed to happen is I agree to be in an alliance with you and you help me catch the bear. What doesn't happen is I wear a reindeer costume. How fast can you run? Also, you don't ask me a gazillion stupid questions. You put these on, the bear thinks you're a deer. You run away and lead them toward the campground. How fast can you run? I bet you're faster. But what I will do is follow. Just guide the bear into the cage. I bet most of the other losers have already got their animals back to camp. You don't have a lot of time. It's what they call a win-win. She succeeds, and I have an alliance. She loses, and she gets eaten by a bear. Wow! That all looks good! Open the cage! Hey, man, impressive! And no rabies! Ugh. I'm going to take a shower. Congratulations, you guys. Huh. I guess they're just jealous. I got it. it. May have been a slow start, but I finally got it. Izzy's the sharpshooter. Banzai! Yes! <laughs> Have you seen Heather? Who? About yay tall, long dark hair, hot, wearing deer antlers. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you having first? I don't even know where to start. Whoa! Chris! Open the cage! <laughs> oh. The naturalist will not be defeated! Close the cage! Close the cage! You sure? Close it! Why, hello, Ducky. Oh, and what a nice little raccoon you are, next to the sweet beavers. <laughs> no! I'm the naturalist! You, uh, sure you don't want to go to the infirmary to get your butt dart removed? Not until Psycho Hose Beast goes down. You've all cast your votes and made your decision. When I call your name, come up and claim your marshmallow. The camper who does not receive a marshmallow tonight must immediately return to the dock of shame to catch the boat of losers and leave. That means you're out of the contest and you can't come back. Ever. The one thing I'll be happy to never see again? Chef's food. Definitely the food. The food. That is the rankest. Stankiest. Nastiest. Grossest. Oldest. Moldiest. Blandest. Baddest. Most disgusting slop I have ever had to eat. Oh, and the bathrooms? Did you see those all? 
house. I don't think they've been cleaned in 35 years. Wow, way they stink. Oh, and I mean stink. The first marshmallow goes to Jeff. Owen, Lishana, Duncan, Heather. One marshmallow, two players. Izzy, Gwen, one of you has spent your last night on Total Drama Island. Just give it to Gwen already. Eh. Time, right? You could make out with me first, if that would cushion the blow. Good night, everybody! Thanks for coming out! <gasps> Being the loser, you realize you still have some unfinished business. Duncan, I require your services. Ah, the shower is disgusting! Lashana took like three froggy mud rinses today. Don't forget to scrub the grout with Gwen's toothbrush. Why did Lashana? Mm. What happened to your paralysis? It's coming back slowly, like the memories of you getting me shot. Something you will never, ever be allowed to forget. 